This is Joe behind the controller on Super Meat Boy Live. Super Meat Boy Live. <laughs> oh right, that's not the name of our channel, is it? No, but it works. <laughs> it definitely does. Yeah. All right, I gotta, I gotta get back Nick into Nick hanging out here next to him, just we can play some goofy games, and now I need yeah. to like get into like surreal's game mode. Yeah. Oh, well, well, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> you are not having a right, good time. Let's get, let's get into yeah. it. Nope, nope. You can see that there's blood everywhere because we did a few practice runs at this. We were having some. Well, you're not supposed to tell them that. But they can see it. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> also, we have no secrets. I think on this show, we're pretty much Whoa. just open with with whatever. Um, but they yeah, know we, I'm a woman. Uh, well, I, by saying we had no secrets, I was trying to give you a plausible deniability. Oh no! But now you've thrown that away. <laughs> now they so. know. This is Instant Replay Live with Nick and Josefina. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Um, oh my goodness. God, you are having a hard time like, getting past this first area. I, I mean, I've done this too. Like we we started this a little bit last time we were playing, and uh, I did not did have we? nearly as much. Maybe it's because I was in. The you game. know what's weird is I have no memory of like the last episode. <laughs> Well, I, I, I should did, have rewatched it maybe before recording this. I did. I, we did talk about a conversation with Tommy Lee Jones, and those oh, yeah? tend to uh, uh, erase your memory. Oh. Everybody's had a few conversations with Tommy Lee Jones; they don't remember. Oh, I see. Yeah, that that's makes the, sense. That's the nature of the universe. That makes sense. Hey, I think we should. Um, oh, I, I, I realize we should have done this actually in a previous recording. So sorry, this is coming late. But we should uh, we should announce that we have someone helping us out on the social media side, um, Danielle. Signa has been kicking butt on our Twitter feed. So if you don't follow us on Twitter, I highly recommend you check us out. We're doing a lot of the fun like hashtag games and stuff like that, and we're having a blast with it. Danielle sort of keeps us in line uh, with the trends that are going on and uh, suggests good ones for us to, to get in on. Joe and I will either post or feed her posts, and she's got some originals of her own. I think my, my favorite was... Um, and I'm so glad this came from her and not from us. But uh, it was Game Typo Tuesday, hashtag Game Typo Tuesday, and the one she came up with was Bitcher Three: The Wild Cunt. Oh yes. <laughs> Hallowed be thy divinity, goddess of Twitter. That thing's gonna kill you, dude. Oh god, you died on the other side. Um, you. Oh. I'm having this a really is, hard time. This is painful to watch. So I mean, I, I feel like I did. I just I don't know what it is. It, like maybe it was playing other games before I played Meat Boy. Yeah. And I'm it just got like you out of the zone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and then this part here, I just not actually sure what to do. Yeah. Um, but we do have another shout out. To Can me you? Because we were we we just play we just uh, hung out with some local dudes. Yeah. On definitely. a podcast. So definitely. if you can go ahead. And yeah. Give we them a we hung out with D and or I'm sorry, <laughs> Antonio and Fangbjorn of the Player's Guide podcast, and we did a session with them. We're going to be appearing on their podcast soon. It should be posting, like, this week. Oh, well, time is a funny maiden. Um, oh, you silly maiden. Uh, because the week that we're recording this is not when you'll hear it. So uh, it, what I mean to say is it's coming out, and it's been out, and uh, you can go check it out. There'll be a link in the description to the Player's Guide podcast. You can listen to us talk and do some world building with those guys on their custom oh. campaign setting for Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, oh, for Pathfinder. For Pathfinder, which is kind of like Dungeons and Dragons. So, I just realized I can stand on this. I don't know why. I thought I, I had to bounce off the wall on the left there to get over this. I thought you knew. I just didn't. I, my, my brain was just like, that's a, that's a, that's a big saw. <laughs> that's, that's a big series of seven films that should yeah. have stopped. You <laughs> nice. I, I, you know what, though? The Saw films hit that peak where it was like, okay, yes, it should have ended, but then because it kept going, it gains a new kind of, like, life, I guess. Like, it, it's like, okay, mm. this is so dumb that I have to see them all just to know. You know what I mean? Like, what convoluted way will they continue a purpose for, it, exactly, for having this kind of puzzle? Exactly. I have that mentality of, like, completionist or... Uh, um, full on like uh, just like if I start a series I have to finish the series that's what I'm trying to say and and Saw is one of those for me if I start it I have to finish it um anyhow uh whoa, whoa. where was I going with this thought I was talking about the player's guide oh we had some others too um in a previous I think it was a Meat Boy episode we did some shout outs and thanked some of our commenters um, we've got so many of you guys now, it would be impossible, but someone I neglected to mention at the time 
that we were thinking about um, doing a collab with, and hopefully will be still soon, is um, her channel is ITAFRS. Her name is Denise. She's a Swedish Let's Player who does mostly um, okay. Pikmin 3 right now. And uh, we have been really enjoying her comments and uh, talking to her, watching her episodes, and looking forward to doing the collab sometime soon. So, mm. ITAFTRS, you should go check her out too. Um, ROTFL, LOL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just throw a few more acronyms in there, why not? Are you at a boss fight? JFK. No, I wouldn't do a boss fight yet. Did you. Did we. Is this not the same cutscene? Oh, you know what I did? You went back and in I again? The P button. I do that every time. Yo. So, I was playing some Final Fantasy, uh, and back in the day, like 6 and 7, uh -huh. the select button was where the B button is on your modern controllers, or the back mm. button. X was not the select button, or the lower uh -huh. button was not the select button. Now, I just I just feel like every game I'm like trying to select with the, the left, right, or the right, the left, right. You know that button on the left, right side? Uh-huh. It's a really thrilling uh, tale of my, I, I my like, controller dyslexia. I like the music by the left, rights. Are they, like... They, they, uh, they sing, I'm on crack! Wow. <laughs> break, 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 break it down. Break, 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 break it down. <laughs> so when I first heard Old Greg, I thought he was saying, I'm on crack! Uh, oh, I can hear that, yeah. <laughs> so we didn't, and we didn't know until, like, we, 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 wow. we left the video thinking that's what he was saying. Nice. And, um... <laughs> so that became, like, a meme with yeah, your friends. Yeah, yeah, like... Uh, I mean, we walked around our high school shouting, I'm on crack. Nice. So what? Okay, I should do it. Oh, you... I just need to not die while doing it. Look, I haven't been on this one very long. You don't this, have to... This... <laughs> <laughs> watching you play this game just, like, it sets me over the edge just watching. I mean, I feel like I'm actually getting into the groove of playing it again. I, I mean, don't think deaths so. That's our... That's our <laughs> I, I was definitely more in the groove last time, but we just played Crazy Taxi and uh, Injustice, two completely different games. Yeah. And, uh... I have no clue when they will come out in order of this, so... Yeah, that I might guess. be weird. Uh, they should be out before this plays, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely, actually, because I saw the bunch to edit. Boy, oh, like there is a lot of editing involved in doing a Let's Play. Right? <laughs> it's so much. Because basically, like, if we do an episode for ten minutes, um, and oh we God, always go over because that, we're bad either. about that, but if we do an episode for ten minutes, then it becomes, like, thirty minutes of editing because I have to watch it and edit and watch it. Again. I just need to jump over this room right here. And that's like bare minimum. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Leave go. the bandage. Don't yeah, even bother. Can go down. But don't. But I need to watch out for that fireball. Exactly, exactly. Which gives me. Alright, now you're good. Oh, oh god, Christ. oh god. <laughs> what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. Obscenity warning. I'm about to use a curse word. But I, I need to know what this is from. I mean, it's in my head already. Right now. I know, I know, I know. Um, but what is this from, Nick? Fucking Lord! What? You don't know what that's from? Not at all. I feel like it's from some obscure YouTube video. I thought you might know. Uh-uh. Um, oh, man. I, I don't know now. It's going to bug me. Wow, it's... that's super good. <laughs> all right, well, somebody in the, in the YouTube will know. Really? Yeah, they're definitely going to... It's, it's not, in the, like, that obscure. It's just... It's pretty obscure to me. You're going to have to fall a little bit before you jump. Can you do that? Can yeah, you slide I, you down can speed the wall? Up and... or... Well... Oh no! Like the little nub of a wall. I need to not there. Yeah, like touch that wall at all. I need to miss that wall entirely. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm, not I'm talking about down below. Keep dr drop Wait, all the way down. I can just go through the bandage area. And oh yeah, that that's, that's true. gonna be so much easier. I'll bet you that's what they intend. It's <laughs> gonna be so much easier. I almost wonder if that's what they intend though. Actually, like the one is to mislead you with putting the bandage there. Like no, the bandage is gonna be hard. Go the other way. But you can just skip the bandage and keep going. I think the challenge of the bandage is that it's raised slightly, so you have that, that moment where you have to jump up. Mm -hmm. um, oh! <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I, I saw where I was going and I just... There's a weird, there's a weird uh, like, when you're talking and you have to worry about reaction times. I know. It's like, I know I'm about to fail, but I'm so thinking about talking about it, my, my reaction time is just delayed. Um, yeah. But it's made, it's, it's, it's made this game fun, so... Um, it's, let's it's see if I can't beat this level. Made it seconds. unbearable to watch. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you need to get off your Nick horse. <laughs> Nick horse. Yeah, that's a new term I'm coining. Oh I'm no. gonna start trying to coin as many Nick terms as I can. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's not okay. Like in the nick of time. Oh, that, like, that'd that be great. one's done already. Oh, is it? You're a little late to the party. Oh no. Well, hopefully yeah. I can beat this level in the nick of time. That would be a great like like cartoon character like. 
a uh, comical character, the nick of time. I'm, like I would be surprised if it's not. If it's not. Yeah. Oh, we got oh, so close. You're not that close. <laughs> um, actually, so I want to mention this before we finish up. I saw a person today, and my first thought was comic book character. I saw a person today. <laughs> it's not often that I, that I step outside the door into the real world. We let Joe out of the the, this, the, the attic. <laughs> this was a perfect... This, yeah, the attic with the wasps. Yeah. This was a person of note, though, because it was an amalgamation of two different types of people that I didn't uh-huh. know existed. He was uh-huh. wearing prep clothes, but also goth clothes. Like, pink mm. polo, but with like the emo black hair. Like, and it was, like, I feel like light. that's, like, emo style can just kind of grab onto anything, you know? Oh, wow, you made it. Got it. Hey, hey um, all right. Anyways, I, I really wanted to write a... I, I, to, in, in my mind, his name was Francis. <laughs> and I wanted to write, like, the, the comic book, the webcomic of Francis, like, the world is too much pain, so I like to mellow out on my yacht. Like, <laughs> got the guy just, like, like bro- brooding on a yacht. <laughs> my stupid pool boy doesn't understand the pain inside me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Why don't you guys give some quotes for Francis in the comments, and we'll see what else we can do for emo rich kid. Um, I like PBR because it tastes like Satan. <laughs> I don't think emo kids are usually Satanists, but sure. All right. I guess I, I just really released some some uh, cruel uh, stereotypes that are in my yeah. head only. Yeah. All right. Well. You guys can you guys can fill out Francis a little more for us, and maybe we'll talk about him again on the next episode of Instant Replay Live. So, wait, Instant Meat Boy Live. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you really kick it. <laughs> kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.